Hi folks, got another battle here against Metallic Bayleaf, and guess what? It's a Little Cup battle! That's right, oh man, I am never going to stop being excited about Little Cup for as long as I live. Um, so anyway, as I always do with this team, I lead off with Onyx. He leads off with a Mime Jr., which is interesting. I have to look up um, Mime Jr.'s stats because I've never seen one before. Um, turns out it's going to be slower than me, so I don't have to worry about it taunting me or anything like that. So I go ahead and set up Stalker Ox. Um, and that's going to be pretty awesome, I figure. Uh, and he goes for a Barrier, which I find very intriguing because why would you use Barrier over... Um, what's the other move? Reflect. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, Mime Jr. can learn both, but anyway, I figure I don't want to see what else he's running, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the taunt. Um, yeah, barrier can't be... a uh, barrier isn't for your entire team, at least I don't think it is. Um, although against my Onyx, if all he cares about is Mr. Mime versus Onyx, then it was probably actually a pretty good move. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and Earthquake at this point. Um, I do less than half, looks like it's going to be a solid 3 hit KO. Uh, Mime Jr. goes ahead and Psychics, and this also looks like it's going to be a solid 3-hit KO. So I'm like, okay, another Earthquake. Um, I'm faster, I should be able to take him out before he takes out me. He survived with like 1 HP, which is, eh, a little lame, but oh well. Um, and his Psychic, I guess that was a case of min-max damage, takes me out. Or maybe it's just the fact that uh, I have a feeling that actually what's going on there is that the uh, PBR uh, gauges are a little bit non-linear. Um, oh well, it is what it is. I consider who to send out next, and I think, you know, Sean has, um, Sean could easily KO, but I figure I actually want to send out Mankey, because I haven't used, um, Marcel, my Mankey, at all, pretty much. Um, I mean, let's be, to be honest here, uh, I added it onto my team as kind of an afterthought, uh, I needed someone to close some gaps, and Marcel seemed to be a pretty good option. Um, it fakes, uh, the, the goal of the set is to fake a Choice Scarf. Um, it's not actually Choice Scarf, I believe it's Expert Belt. No, no, I'm sorry, it's Focus Sash. But the idea is to trick your opponent into thinking it's Choice Scarf because most Mankeys in Gen 4 Little Cup were Choice Scarfed. You don't really see them around in Gen 5 too much, I guess there's too much competition. So Mr. Krabs comes out, I'm gonna go ahead and close combat, um, thinking that he's fallen for my trick, and I go first, which is great. Mankey's got de excellent speed. Anyway, I go ahead and close combat, um, KO that Krabby in one hit, and so now he knows that I'm obviously not Scarfed, um, but I've still got that Focus Sash and still intact, so I'm, I'm really uh, gonna see how long I can, you know, do this Mankey Sweep. He sends out his Mercury, um, I would have called it Freddy. Anyway, I go ahead and I'm figuring, okay, close combat should KO this guy too, and you know, if he hits me, if it doesn't KO, and he hits me back, I still have my Sash. So, take out, um, his, um, Slugma in one hit. Unfortunately, his flame body activates and burns me, and that's awful not only because it has my attack, but it's awful because it's going to break my sash, and so that is not going to be good. Um, next up for him is going to be Trico, um, and I don't know whether I'm faster, it all depends on his set. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to Ice Punch. I'm at minus two defenses, so it's no surprise that since he goes first, that his Giga Terrain is going to one-hit KO me. Um, and so, yeah, um, Marcel's sweep is ended all too soon, but it was a nice little sweepy sweep, so I'm not, I'm pretty happy, and I hope that my little monkey was happy too. Um, I go ahead and send out Bernie at this point, um, and I make a really bad play. I should not have done this. He could have been running the quick attack, he could have had the sash, should not have gone for eruption. That was a bad move. Luckily, he wasn't running the quick attack, um, and also he wasn't running sash. So that was really, that really paid off, but it was a bad move on my part. Uh, Fire Blast would have been the far safer move. Um, maybe I've run Flamethrower on the set, I can't remember. Anyway, um, he sends out his Teddy Graham, and I haven't really seen a Teddy Ursa uh, in Little Cup before, so I'm kind of curious to see what it does. Um, it goes, it does have the Protect, um, so one Eruption block, but that's okay, I have six others. Um, and it's got the Taka Scorp, which I'm thinking is a Guts, and I actually looked it up, it's Quick Feet. Um, so I'm thinking, oh, he was trying to see if he could outspeed me after Quick Feet. Um, the thing is, Teddy Ursa has base 45 speed. That's awful, even for Little Cup. So, even after the quick feed, I go first, and I KO in one hit. Um, so, yeah, that is what it is. And now he's down to his last Pokemon, is Porygon, which I've seen in the past can, you know, wall me. Uh, I don't know whether it can wall uh, an eruption, but we'll see. Um, so here comes the eruption, and boom! 
it hits and it KOs. So that was an awesome Cyndaquil sweep as well. Um, so great game, Metallic Bayleaf. Um, I love Little Cup, I love my team, I'm gonna miss them so much when I'm done with PBR. Uh, so anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long, folks.